Hi beautiful yet, it's me Flavio Miguel and welcome back to my channel. But maybe that's your first time over here. If that's the case, thank you so much for tuning in. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create this butter-like skin as I created on my gorgeous model Haja. So it's much easier than you might think. So if you want to know it, you should watch this video until the end. But before we go on, I would like you to ask you something. If you enjoy watching this video, please remember to like and share this video because it does help the YouTube algorithm to push my videos towards a larger audience. And being in this oversaturated niche that I'm at, I can use it every help that I can get to achieve my next goal, which is 5,000 followers, right? So thank you so much in advance. I'm adding to my makeup demo two of the newest products of Kylie Cosmetics. I'm talking about the Tinted Butter Balm and the Body Glow. And I'll be also showing you the right way to use this product because darling, if you only use this on your body, then you're missing half of the fun, I tell you. So without any further ado, let's get on it, okay? I will start with the Tinted Butter Balm on the color Moving On. Of all the colors, this is the one that I like the most for this beautiful chocolate skin tone of Hodges. Moving On has this beautiful sheer chocolatey kind of shade. The reason why I'm applying this right on the beginning of this makeup demo is because it delivers a lot of hydration. Actually, one of the claims of the product is that it delivers 12 hours hydration for the lips. Ideal for summertime, especially after being exposed to UV rays. Now it's time for the body glow. So after you prep your skin regularly like you would do with your moisturizer, your eye cream, it's time for you to apply the body glow right onto the skin. Yes, darling, we're gonna go underneath the foundation. And believe me, this is one of those things that you have to trust the process. What you want to do is you want to highlight the highest points of the face. You can start from the nose bridge, then you can go on the highest points of the cheeks. Another place that I want to highlight is the chin. I also want to highlight not only the cupid bow, but also all this area on the top of the lips. I also going to apply next to the nose wings. I'm also going to go right where you would normally apply your concealer. And no worries, darling, we will use a concealer. In this case, I'm mixing two color correctors, a orange one and a red one. I'm gonna apply these two mixed colors on the areas where there's this darkened area on her face. What it's gonna do is, it's going to warm it up the undertone. And then I'm gonna seal everything with a water-based foundation. In this case, I'm using MAC Cosmetics, the Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation. The undertone that I'm using for her is a yellow undertone, or in other words, it's a cool undertone. Why a cool undertone? Because this is going to kind of neutralize the color corrector that I first apply on her skin. And the reason why I'm choosing to work with a more transparent foundation is because I want to see through this glow that we just apply on the face. What this is going to do is, it's going to create this kind of translucent, luminescent kind of effect, which is a very natural aspect of a skin that has nothing on top of it. But now, to seal everything, I'm gonna use a loose powder. In this case, I'm using Kylie Cosmetics Set Loose Powder in the color Deep Dark. What I like about this product, as you can see, when I roll the brush onto the skin, you can actually see this powder sucking all the moist of the foundation without making it look like overly dry or cracking the entire face. It's just beautiful. Now it's time to get those eyebrows groomed. I don't like to overdrawn eyebrows, especially on dark skinned girls. Why? Because it tends to go with a very deep shade on their eyebrows and it's not always ideal, at least not my own taste of creating an eyebrow. What I normally like to do is I try to stick with a lighter shade 
for an eyeshadow powder and then I'm gonna build it up the intensity of the eyebrow and I'm rather correcting it and filling up the gaps rather than reshaping the eyebrow if you will as you can see it looks nice and airy and not overly done but now to create more definition I'm gonna use P. Louise eyeshadow base in the color number two I know it is way too light for her skin tone, but no worries, trust the process. What I want to do is to underline the eyebrow. This is going to raise the contrast between the eyelid and the eyebrow, creating a more defined eyebrow without overly done it. Now you can see the comparison with underlining and without underlining, and it still looks super beautiful. Now what you're gonna do is you want to start with a black eye pencil. In this case I'm using the Kai Liner Gel Pencil by Kylie Cosmetics in the color black. This is a long-lasting waterproof and smudge-proof eye pencil. What I'm doing here is I'm gonna apply all over into the waterline, upper and lower waterline, and now I'm applying in between the hairs of the lashes. After applying it, I'm using a pen brush to smudge this line and create this seamless transition from dark to light. You can eventually apply more eye pencil in case you think it's not giving that punch of color. I'm changing the brushes for a blending brush just to create a more smooth transition. The idea is to frame the root of the lashes and create this fading transition from dark to light. After you're doing this, I'm gonna use another product from Kylie Cosmetics that I really like. It's the Liquid Eyeshadow. By the way, I already recorded an entire review about this product. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a link right up here where you can watch it, right? You don't want to use the applicator to apply the eyeshadow. Instead, I'm swatching a small amount of the product on a mixing palette and using a synthetic brush, I'm gonna go apply into the eyelid. You want to create this beautiful transition from this black lash line up to the crease. You don't need to go all the way, but just half of the eyelid. You want to repeat the process also in the lower lash line. Remember, you want to go very close to the roots of the lashes, pulling it inwards and outwards to create this nice, and soft transition from dark to light. Now it's time to use some regular eyeshadow. I'm using here from MAC Cosmetics a eyeshadow palette from the Art Library collection. This one is the nude model. I'm mixing two eyeshadows, the Dali Wood with the Louvre at the first sight. By the way, I already recorded an entire review on this eyeshadow palette. It's one of my best watched videos. There's a link right up here where you can watch it, all right? You want to apply from the outer corner inwards. You don't need to surpass the half of the eyelid or the socket of the eye. I always like to start patting the product onto the skin just to make sure that there's a lot of payoff and then afterwards I'm swapping the brush back and forwards. Now it's time to add another eyeshadow. I'm gonna go here with Embark. Embark is a deeper maroon shade which is beautiful to create the definition. Now using a pen brush and tipping just the tip of the brush onto the eyeshadow, I'm gonna add everyone's darling right on the roots of the lashes, especially the lower lash line. I'm now changing eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna go from the same brand and the same collection, the Art Library collection, but now this palette, it's called It's Design. I'm gonna add the black eyeshadow, which is called Carbon. I'm using the same brush that I used for the first two eyeshadows and I'm concentrated right onto the roots of the upper lash line. The idea here is to slowly create some depth. Keep it in mind that the transition should be very, very smooth. I'm now connecting it with the socket of the eye, just to create a little bit more definition right in the middle of the eyelid. You're gonna go back with the pen brush and you're gonna also dip into carbon, creating even more depth into the lower lash line. You want to slightly elongate the eye a little bit. 
Now it's time to add some shimmer into the makeup just to create more dimension. I'm using here the third eyeshadow palette from the art library. This one is the Flamboyant. I'm mixing two different colors. One is La Vida Mocha and the other one is Fan the Flames. You want to start right in the middle of the eyelid or in other words on the highest point of your eyelid. Change brushes for a smooth transition. First one eye and now the second. Now using a smaller brush I'm gonna add from the Nude Mother palette the color Gog Lightly. The idea is to add a little bit of a highlighter right in the inner corners of the eye. Now using a lash curler you want to slightly lift it up the lashes. Now I'm using the Kai Lash Volume Mascara by Kylie Cosmetics. This is nowadays one of my favorite mascaras of all time. It's very very nice to use. Of course because I'm using on my model I'm not using the original brush. I'm using a disposable one for hygiene purposes. I'm being very generous with the mascara application as well as on the top as on the bottom lashes. Now we're gonna add some false lashes, but I'm not gonna use the entire lash. I want to clip them to be able to spread them into the eyes. This is going to create a less stiff and less overly done look. Because remember, this is a summer look. I want to make this look glamorous, but not stiff. Okay. I'm applying the first half of the lash in the outer corner and I'm leaving a small little gap just in between and applying the second half. Now it's time to add some blush. I'm using here the Pro Face Palette by MAC Cosmetics in Deep Blush. The first color is called Purple Blur. I'm sampling with a spatula and applying on a mixing palette. I want to use a stippling brush that mimics my fingertips. Because this is a deeper shade, you want to apply lower on the face. And once you apply, you want to buffer it into the skin to make it look like it's coming from inside out. Use the foundation brush just to buff this into the skin. This is going in the right direction. Now it's time to apply the second blush. This is also a Pro Face palette by MAC Cosmetics and in the color Bright Blush. The actual name of this color is Fugiastic, as you can see it. It's very funny. Because this is a, a cooler, brighter blush color, I'm applying it slightly higher on the face. It's going to be almost where you apply your highlighter. This time I'm using my fingers because I want to create this very nice and seamless transition from the first shade to the second shade that we just applied. And also I'm going to apply on top of the nose. Why? Because I love to do this and I think it looks super beautiful in pictures. And to finish it up, I'm going to use the, again, the Pro Face Palette by MAC Cosmetics in the Illuminating. This is the highlighter palette. The color that I'm using here is the Goldie Lush. What I like about this highlighter palette is because it's very, very, very sheer. It almost creates rather texture than a light effect. As you can see, it's already looking amazing. And I'm gonna apply a little bit on the tip of her nose just to create this shiny, shimmy kind of effect. And now to seal this everything, all these cream products with each other, I'm using a press powder. And in this case, I'm using the Press Blotting Powder by MAC Cosmetics in the color Deep Dark. We are almost done and I will use a Kylie lip liner in the color Bite Me to outline her lips. Her lips, they are already gorgeous, so I don't need to exaggerate it with the outlining. The lipstick that I'm using here is one of the newest lipsticks from Kylie Cosmetics. It's the Bullet Lipstick in the color Been A Minute. I actually also create an entire review about these lipsticks. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a link right up here where you can watch it. Yes, girl, I have recording a lot of content, so please don't hesitate to check it out, all right? This color is really beautiful. It's just gonna look very nude on her lips, almost like flesh tone, which is exactly what I want you. Now it's time to finish it up on the body. Yes, we're gonna go with the body glow, but again, I'm not gonna use the body glow like you probably would use. I like to mix it with a body lotion. 
I'm using here the Lavender Body Lotion by Kindly Skin, but of course you could use this with any body lotion that you like. The ratio that I use is one third body glow and two thirds body lotion. To mix it, I'm using a stippling brush. You want to mix it well until you create a very homogenic texture. And after that, the only thing you have to do is to brush it up all over this beautiful skin. As you can see, it is already happening. You're gonna create this butter-like skin. It's just so luscious and beautiful. But now, to create the final touch, I'm gonna add a little bit of a lip gloss. In this case, I'm using here from Kylie Cosmetics the plumping lip gloss in the color Curve Him. It's one of my favorite lip glosses. But because it's a plumping lip gloss, not everybody loves it, but I do. So how did you like the end result of my makeup demo? It's beautiful, isn't it? I, I, I really, really love it. All right, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying watching this video as much as I enjoy making it. And please remember to like and share this video and also to subscribe to my channel because it does help the YouTube algorithm to push my videos towards a larger audience. Again, thank you so much for your time, love, your support, and I see you all next time, all right? Bye-bye.